Hey, what's up everybody? Michael Crump here, and I saw this extremely cool project for the Nintendo Wii U. This is where you can use something such as a Raspberry Pi Pico or Zero, or heck, even a Nintendo Switch to create a device that exploits the Wii U's USB host. And this project right here gives you exactly what you need to do it. And we're gonna go ahead and do that here today. So if you take a look at this repo, which I will put a link to in the description. You can see right here is that this says exploits for the we use USB host stack. Now there is an article right here which has the full write up of how this was actually created. But if you're like me and you're more of an enthusiast and you want to just kind of play around with it, then here's all the things that you will need. So first off, you obviously need a Wii U and then one of these devices listed below. So a Raspberry Pi Pico, also a Zero would work with that, as well as a Nintendo Switch that is also already able to run Homebrew. So it's as easy as doing this right here. You need to go over to the releases, and then you need to download this file right here that has an extension of UF. And then once you download this, go ahead and take your Raspberry Pi Pico and then hold down the boot select button and then plug this into your computer where you can simply drag and drop the file onto that Raspberry Pi Pico device. Once it's finished, it automatically closes out of all those windows. And don't be alarmed if you get an error message or something like that with the windows disconnecting it. Now you will need to put a file, the root of the SD card. So scroll down just a little bit here, and then you're gonna see this link right here which says copy the latest release of recovery menu so right there is the only file that you'll need just that recovery menu you will not need this one right here so don't be confused with that so just simply take that recovery menu file and then just copy it again to the root of your sd card and do keep in mind that your wii u does not have to be hacked at all in order for this to run this will run absolutely anywhere but if you are running a hacked Wii U, you can just leave this file on your SD card forever because it won't hurt anything for it just to be there. Now that you have an SD card and a Pico device ready to go, go ahead and power down your Wii U and remove any USB port that is currently in use. Okay, so once you finally get into the recovery menu and it works, you will see this right here. Now, I am using the very latest version, so yours should, at least at the time of this recording, say version 0 0.5. So the way that you navigate is through the eject button as well as the power button on the console. So press the eject button and that will let you navigate through all of the different options right here. Now you will press the power button when you want to go inside of one of them. So the very first option here is set cold boot title. Basically you just go and you select whichever one is appropriate for your system and then run it and then it resets the application that is launched on startup. And at least as I heard Voltar explain it, that it does some sort of recaching of the operating system. The dump syslogs. So I'm gonna go right there, we'll press power again. And now it says creating a logs directory and it has copied them all over. So we would have to take a look at the SD card to see what all is on that. So we'll go ahead and proceed. Dump OTP plus S-E-E-P-R-O-M. And that, there's a number of ways to dump that. What happens once you dump it is, is that you're then able to 
recover your Wii, but it is going to require some soldering skills in order to do that. Start the WUP server. So I'm just going to go ahead and press power there. And so it says initializing netconf, waiting for the network connection, and then connected using Wi-Fi. So now the WUP server is running. And just keep in mind that these WUP files are basically just a ROM file that is used with the Nintendo Wii. Now, for a lot of these WUP files, these were typically you know, downloaded using the Wii U USB helper, and they're installed using something like the WUP installer GX2. But I won't be needing that here since everything else with my system is totally fine. So I'm going to press the eject button. Now we're going to go to load network configuration. Okay, so that must be for some sort of specialized network configuration. Then there is an option to pair the gamepad. Okay, and so what you'll see right up there at the top, it says a pin code, and then it has what the key is. So diamond, spade, spade, diamond. And then there's this option here to install a WUP. And then this one right here, which is huge, which is edit the parental controls. So if you did pick up a Wii and that Wii had parental controls on it, then this is definitely what you would want to go and take a look at. So if we go ahead and go into that option, just since I've never been in it, we can see right now that the parental controls is disabled, but I could come back in here if there was one and then just disable it. So I wouldn't have to call Nintendo. I wouldn't have to do any other things. With this little tiny $8 device, I can unlock or remove the parental controls from any Wii U and that is just awesome. Then there is this debug system region. So this says the system region code is USA, and it says the system region appears to be set correctly. And then there is this system information, which actually tells all kinds of information about the console. This will also tell you what chip is used by your Wii U. So there is mine, and it is a Samsung, it also has a bunch of other information, such as the actual model number. When was it manufactured? We can see mine was done right here on 10.07.2022. And then it also has the Wii U menu version that I'm currently running. So yeah, just a bunch of really great diagnostics information just right there. And then there is this option here to submit system data. So it says this will submit data to the developers which will help to determine various stats about Wii U consoles. The submitted data may be publicly accessible, but personally identifying information will be kept confidential. So if this is maybe your own private system, maybe you're not planning on giving it away, you can obviously go ahead and submit the data, especially if it's a console that you're never really planning on using as far as even connecting to Nintendo servers or so forth. And then finally, there is the option to shut down. And I'll just go ahead and take that option. And now I'll unplug that from my USB. And now our Wii U should boot up like normal again. Okay, and that is going to do it for this one. Our Wii U is back up and running again. So what we have now is we have an $8 device which is now going to allow us to fix a number of different error codes. We can do things like reset the parental controls. We can get all kinds of system diagnostics information. So definitely worth doing in my opinion. So thank you so very much for watching and don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel and heck, why not leave a comment below? I'll see you on the next one. Michael out.